Welcome back to Games Revealed. I'm James and also the Brink and we are one. So today it's going to be it's, it's a good time for some Steam Deck news. Uh, it's built up enough to where we have three articles I want to look at. One on Windows on Steam Deck, almost fully functional operating battle station. And then we also have Xbox Game Pass. Uh, some games are available, some aren't on the Steam Deck. And then also we get a little bit more clarification from Valve on what happened with Q3 after Q3 pre-orders, just to clarify a little bit on those delays or not delays. So with that being said, make sure to listen to the whole thing so that you know all the good juicy news of the Steam Deck. Before we get into it, like, subscribe, bash that bell with your core bar, and let's not wait any longer. Let's get into the news. So this is the the juiciest one for me out of the three because Windows, I want to dual boot. And it's not necessarily that I have to dual boot. If I couldn't dual boot Windows, I'd be fine. But I love the option that I can. And then plus, there's a couple of things that I'm not sure are working on Linux yet that come into like creation mode of, I don't, we'll see, we'll see. I'm sure I can get like plenty of video editing software to work on the Steam Deck. Just will include the programs I use. Who knows? With the Windows, it's, it looks like the graphics drivers are working now. Everything is working. And let's just read this. You can do a full Windows install with drivers, but dual booting isn't possible right now. While Steam Deck is fully capable of dual boot, the Steam OS installer that provides a dual boot wizard isn't ready yet. Valve writes the current drivers are only compatible with Windows 10 because Windows 11 requires a new BIOS that is currently in the pipe, which provides F I think that's an F FTPM support and will be shipping soon. So, and this is coming from PC Gamer. And so it looks like almost everything's working on Windows. And there's one little piece that's not, and that's right here. And then we'll talk about this. And the final caveat, the Steam Deck, GPU, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi will, will all work, but audio is currently limited to USB-C out or Bluetooth. The speaker and 3.5 millimeter headphone jack won't, output any sound yet and that's <laughs> that's kind of a weird one that the speaker doesn't it's usually a pretty quick one to get working but bluetooth works um and that's probably the way i'll be consuming most of my audio on this device but we're so close to getting it to work fully um i just want to note with the bios stuff and the dual booting that's coming soon guys i i, I kind of called it i knew that they were going to be fixing this they have it in their q a section like their questions and then answers to those questions on steamdeck.com that they were going to support dual boot and it's coming it just doesn't it doesn't happen now so for everyone that's in q2 and on i bet you'll have this working i all i know is with all these updates coming from valve and from the developers i i really do think we're going to have a pretty nice system for q2 q3 people so Everyone that's in Q1 is going to be kind of beta testers, and I would like to be a beta tester, but um, at least, you know, there's progress. I love seeing progress, and I can more safely say that, like, hey, we're going to have probably a pretty complete system soon. So um, them fulfilling, you know, some of their promises, and I'd hope they would fulfill their promises, right? Right. So um, Valve also says that dual boot support, including dual boot wizard for picking which OS launcher will all will ship alongside Steam OS 3 once it's complete. That's the one I've been waiting for the most is that I want to test the Steam OS 3 and it's not available for download yet. You can download Steam OS 2, but you can't do 3 yet. Only the image for um fixing Steam the Steam Deck itself. So that that's really good news. Um that that's still on their docket. They haven't dropped it. They're giving us updates. I, I really think these things are going to uh, drop hopefully very soon because I'll be able to do a lot more content on that. Okay, let's go into the next piece of news. Okay, so uh, the Xbox Game Studio uh, Pass has an update. And it's this is something like I believe that Gabe's worked with with Microsoft to include or maybe vice versa to include a pass of Xbox games on Steam. And Unfortunately, and fortunately, some are verified, some are playable, and some are not play uh, that are not going to be supported. And the ones that won't be supported uh, will be Gears, uh, uh, Gears Five, Halo, the Master Chief Collection, Halo Infinite, and Microsoft Flight Simulator X are unsupported. These titles don't work on Steam Deck due to anti-cheat systems, and it's not clear if they'll ever be supported in the future. 
once again, Valve's made Steam Deck and the Steam OS that kind of combat Microsoft and maybe the way they're going with their game, the games, the operating system. I just don't know. Gabe Newell has something against Windows right now. And even though he's one of the first ones to start Windows or like Microsoft itself, it's cool that we have support, right? So uh, let's go into the couple of the games real quick and we'll get on to the last piece of news. Deathloop, Psychonauts 2, Hellblade, The Evil Within, Fallout Shelter, <laughs> which what, what doesn't that play on? Prey, Battletoads, and Max, The Curse of Brotherhood. Those are all verified and playable on, uh, verified and beyond playable, They're, they work great, supposedly, on the Steam Deck. And I say that because, from my understanding, some verified games are getting a little bit of hiccups right now, so, but they're verified at least. Playable, we'll, we can see Sea of Thieves, Fallout 4, for, uh, Forza Horizon 5, for, Forza Horizon 4, Quantum Break, and State of Decay. And... To be honest, Fallout 4, I'm down for that. Hopefully it plays really well. We'll have to see. Uh, once I get my Steam Deck, that's definitely a title I'm going to check out because that'd be a fun one on the go because, um, you know, another settlement needs my help. Unsupported is Gears 5, like we talked about, Halos and Microsoft Flight Simulator. And I'll be surprised. I bet you the Halos will become available, even if it's an aftermarket like Proton Update or who knows, whatever. I shouldn't say aftermarket, but like, a Proton update, someone in the Linux community making it playable. I think Halo somehow will become playable uh, just because it's such a big title. And I just would, and same with Gears, but Halo, you know, it's one of the biggest FPSs out there. So that is some cool news of games that, so if you have this Game Pass, you can play on your Steam Deck. So, and hopefully Microsoft keeps this up and hopefully they add full support. They go through and make sure all these are playable on the Steam Deck. Um, I think it'd be really interesting. So uh, the last piece of news, this is just to help clarify a little bit of what went on with the queue system and like the reservations and people getting bumped down on all that. Uh, there's no delays. The, the update essentially, this is on IGN.com, the update essentially says that uh, we just specified <laughs> where you're at in the line. Uh, if you're Q2, after Q2. And I know I've heard some people say I was Q2 for sure, and then I went to after Q2. I think, like, last year I was in Q2, but then I did get moved to after Q2. But I, I think that's from the initial first delay. So I don't think that's fair because they already had that first delay. So that did happen, but if, you, if in the past few weeks you were in Q2 and then we're moved into after Q2 or whatever it is, like, then I could understand you being frustrated. And I'm sure some of you, let me know in the comments below if that happened to you, but just know that I, they're clarifying, it could be wrong, but they're trying to say that essentially no one was moved out of Q or whatever, and there's no delay so far. Like, they're just able to solidify a little bit more of where you are and when you should be getting your device. So good news. And we'll see uh, what future news comes from this availability, because I know this is a hot topic for most people that are Steam Deck waiters like me who are waiting for their decks. So uh, that's it for the news. Let me know if I missed anything in the comments below. Uh, let me know if there's any juicy news that I've missed. And if not, then let's continue on and watch my other videos. Later, guys. Peace out. <laughs>